All right, we've got our database, we've got our database connection. We have a chunk of code that'll insert some stuff into the database. Now we need a page where a human being can sit there and type in something and click a button. And as you might guess, pages go in the pages folder. So we want to right click pages and choose add new item and in a Blazor app, that new item is going to be a Razor component. Okay, if you don't see it, you know, right away, it might be under one of these other headings here. But Razor component is what you want. And I typically name these based on the table, which is video, and the action, which is add or create. So I'm just going to call this page video add. And it's the page people use to type in information to add to the database. Now, if this were a regular website, this might be videoadd.html with an HTML page. But since we need front end and back end code, we use videoadd.razor. And then we need to start coding for both the front end and the back end. We start with at using laser dapper crud.data, which is a reference to that data subfolder where all our code for you know database interactivity is located. We need to give this page a name for routing. That's at page, and that will be video ad with a um, slash in front. I usually just lowercase the name for the, um, again, they're case sensitive. So the file name is video ad with caps, but the um, actual, but the page name, I usually just do an all lowercase. All right, and then you can use dependency injection to at inject iVideo video service, which is the interface and the video service code for the database connection. And we're also going to, at inject navigation manager, navigation manager. And later in the code, we can use that to redirect them to another page when the insert is done. All right, and then for my form, I'll use a uh, edit form, a razor edit form. That would be edit form model equal at video on valid submit equal at some method I'll create. And uh, what mess do I have going on here? Okay, the red underline on at videos because it doesn't know what that is. So down here in the code section, I'll throw in an, uh, a quick comment. And we'll create an empty video object as something it understands. So video video equal new video. So basically I'm saying video is an object. Lowercase video is an object um, that's you know, created from the video class. So now it knows what at video means. And then for at video insert, we just need a method. And again, I'll use the the uh, tap pattern that, you know, C Sharp uses now video async task. We'll call it video insert. And then up inside the form here, I'll just go ahead and put in a really simple table of controls. Again, I'm not saying you shouldn't do this with, you know, the all the ARIA stuff and the uh, bootstrap classes and all that. I just don't want to clutter up this card with any of that. So I'm just going to make a really simple um, HTML form. It's all pure HTML except for where we say app bind. That's C sharp and that um, tells you what from the video object goes in this input field. And I put required on there to make it a required field. Again, you can, you know, if you're used to doing that with data added annotations and such, that's fine. I'm just going to do everything in the um, HTML here. Um, okay, what do we got here? Video. That last one is is active, and that is a checkbox is active. Whoops. All right, just make sure your uh, uppercase, lowercase letters are correct. Don't put the required on the checkbox, of course. All right, and um, let's see, we need a couple buttons now. I'll put in another table row. Um, center the stuff in that row. And uh, the first button will be a submit button. Uh, when clicked, that'll trigger the uh, form. And then that on valid submit will be called only if it's a valid form. Um, and then in case they got here by accident, we'll give them a more neutral button with a value of cancel and if they click that then we'll just call um, uh, a method called at cancel and again I have to use the at signs because this is going to be C sharp code uh, down a little lower here in the code section that 
at cancel, we'll refer to this method, which we'll just call void cancel. And we'll use navigation manager dot navigate to, and then go with the routing name of where you want to navigate to. And that's if they canceled. We'll do that too if they did an insert, but we'll do it after we do the actual insert. And to do the actual insert, we'll need to say await video service dot video insert the video. Okay, let me straighten that up. Okay, I think that's it. Let's uh, run this thing and see if it explodes. Um, so far, so good. You have to add slash video add to the end of that URL to get to that page, and, and it blows up. Oh, I've seen this error message about a thousand times. We're old pals, so I know it needs to be done on this one. Go back to Solution Explorer and open up uh, startup.cs. Get to that configure services section and add services. Dot add scoped, which makes it you know, scope to each session or user. And then we just say uh, iVideo service and video service. Close the angle bracket, close our pair of parens and a semicolon. And let's see if we can get this thing to build. So, well, let me just close and save everything. Let's make sure all our code saved and everything. Let's run this bad boy and see if we can blow it up again. So far, so good. Remember, we have to go to slash video add to get to that page. Hey, it worked. Can we save something? All right, let's say this is called video the first. And we can uh, put in a date there. And uh, click the box, click add. And does it blow up? No, it didn't blow up. Well, wonders never cease. Um, let's see. Let's go over to uh, how about... Uh, SQL Service Object Explorer, and we'll open up that table. Well, let's refresh that table. You always got to do that. Make sure it's up to date. And up oh, there it is. Um, video the first. Pretty cool. So we actually got some data in there. One row. All right. Well, that's kind of a success. We can go ahead and close up this data table view. So uh, I think we're good on that video ad page. But let's keep testing. Go ahead and run it again using the IIS Express Go button up there. And this time, um, well, once we get there, you got to remember you have to do slash video add. Press enter. All right, now if I just click add, I get an error message. Please fill out this form or this field. And that's because I put that required in the HTML. But I haven't really covered for all problems. For example, if I click add now, I get a new error message down at the bottom saying a unhandled exception occurred. See browser dev tools. In many browsers, you can just press F12. Here in Chrome, I'll do the three dots, more tools, developer tools. And then if I uh, make sure you click console there, and then I see at the top of this, it's saying, or near the top, must be between 1.1.17.53 and 12.31.99. We need to put a validator on that that keeps it from going out of range. But uh, let's do that in the next lesson. This one went on, has gone on long enough. So just go ahead and save and close everything. And we'll get right to that in the next lesson. See you there.